you know, I, I try to feel the vibe and get excited and start thinking of that. And I look back and I look over there and I'm like, look at good. Hello. Go look at the pictures on Facebook if you want to see that pretty white car. And I'm appreciating the shop, not myself, just so I want to make a special point of noting that. It's not an ego thing. Bobby has all the ego. I have all the driving talent. Illusions of grandeur. Anyway, now it's true. Bobby does is a very good race car driver. I like challenging him, but it will be quite an upset when I beat him on the track someday. Chuck Walla Valley Raceway. Okay. This is a serious video. Oh, actually, this is a race car too. And we're, we're going to have to thoroughly road test your car, Alex, because we're taking the motor apart, which means after all this work's done, we're going to have to drive the car really kind of hard for you because we have to try to break it to see if anything needs to get fixed because that's the thorough road test. You get to see it on video. Challenge accepted? Yeah. I'm, I'm you know, I, what I'm saying is that we are going to thoroughly road test cars. Thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly. I'm finding with these restorations that there's a lot of new parts and we still have issues. No issues with, with Sky's work yet. So that's good news for you, Alex. And did you see how cute that video was of my daughter? Let's get back to the car. Okay. Subframe connectors. Subframe tell tell the viewers connectors. what subframe connectors do. They tie the front subframe and the rear subframe together. They support the car. Basically, they try. Basically, they make uh, the car a full frame car, like it should have been in the first place, because it's supposedly a sports car. But it's like it's twisty. Flexi flyer. It's flexi flyer. No one likes that. We don't like flexi flyers we or like Mustangs, and especially Alex with his 69 Mach 1. Hey, concourse guys, it's cool, but Alex is getting the roll cage, you know what I mean? Alex is thinking pretty serious about this car. He's going to have fun. Candy apple red, too. I love it. I it's love gonna it. It's going to be one big hot wheel, yeah. dude. I love concourse. I love custom. I love Mustangs. We all do. And many other cars. But this is a, show about, this is a video about a Mustang, a 69, and it's Alex's baby. So we're going we're gonna to show you now. Scott, you're standing? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the subframe connectors. Sky's gonna explain and yell over this compressor because my other compressor is broken. So we got to yell over a compressor while Ozzy Osbourne's playing. And it's Friday. It's Friday. This is ambiance. This is getting cars done. Muscle cars at mustangmedic.com. I love it. All right, here we go. So these are subframe connectors. Now, Sky, did you? You didn't build those. These came in a kit, correct? Right. Like that, like that. Okay. What are you gonna do with these now? Um, just take these underneath. Should I go under? Okay, I'll just go right here. What these do, like Bobby said, is they tie this front frame rail and actually come back and bolt up with the. Uh, All right. So put it in position, and I'm gonna try to catch you on video what you're about to do. Sorry guys for the rough video, but we're just crawling around on this stuff, not the best lighting. So that is a subframe connector. So it gets welded right to the, uh, what is that darn thing called again? I always forget the name of it. The piece that's connected. Uh, frame patch. Or frame patch. So that's a frame patch. We come back here and it's and it comes back. set to the inside the bolt for the uh, front of the leaf springs and goes through here. So the leaf spring actually connects to this now. Right. And it, this go, this is going to go up into the floor. What, what happens in the leaf spring right here? The leaf spring connector right here. The leaf, that, no, no, it goes in the same so, place. Okay, so, so the leaf spring connects there, and the subframe connector connects under here. Right. It just, it just held on with the bolt. Oh, so the, the, the so the eye bolt for the eye bolt for the leaf spring goes through this connector that connects it and makes it rigid to the frame patches. Correct. Right. All right. So that's. We're basically building rigidity into this car for less twisting because he's going to have some power on it. So it connects to the frame patch on we that end. This guy's going to weld it to that piece. And then it welds back here. Uh, it does weld. There's a, just on one little part right here, but it, this goes up into the floor. 